Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to cut um, the background out of a picture like this. So I just have the cup there and nothing in the background. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go to this lasso tool here. Okay, and we're going to right click on it and so the menu comes up. Okay, now at the moment I'm just using an older version of Adobe Photoshop. Um, it's not the newest version, so, um, but I think it's pretty much similar. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose the <laughs> polygonal lasso tool. Lovely name. Choose that, okay, and it looks a bit weird. Now, you can see the little point on the bottom there. We're going to um, once you press with your mouse it's going to start okay and we're going to have to go around this object now this is a pretty simple one but the reason I've chosen it is because it's got this little bit here that we have to cut out separately okay so I'll start I press the button down see how I've got that line now and then where I press my next thing is it's going to outline it okay so you've got to I mean, there's no point go rushing it and going right over there because you're going to chop everything off. Okay, you've got to go slow and around the edges and it's quite boring, you know. Uh, but if you want to get the job done properly, um, it does take time. Okay. Um, look, I'm not perfect at this either because basically... Um, I just use this for my web pages um, so I can just pop this image on any background I like okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep doing this basically I'm just gonna carefully go around the edges and when I get to the end okay I'll start the video again Okay guys, I've got to the end here and um, as soon as I matched up the line there, this is what happens. It looks like a big snake running around your picture. Now, just so I can, um, I don't want to lose that because that was a lot of hard work going around those edges. So what I'm going to do is go up to the top here, okay, to, to the select menu up the top and I'm going to say save selection down the bottom here. Okay, and I'm just going to call it um, first, okay, just in case I have to go back and get it. Press OK. Now, what I want to do now is chop this part out. Okay, so to start this, now as you can see I've still got that um, polygamal lasso tool or whatever it's called. Um, so what I want to do now is cut out this section here. So I'm just going to put my point there and I'm going to press the ALT button. Okay, now see what happens when I press the ALT button? The lasso tool comes back because I'm in the selection at the moment, inside it. Now what I want to do is cut this out of the selection. So you press the ALT key just to do your first click. So you press it down and you click and now we can go. See I've done it in the wrong spot. Oh, not really. Oops. Okay, let's go. Alright. Now I'm going to go around. It's not, not that easy, okay? If you want perfect um, lines and stuff like that, you're going to have to do short little um, you know the shorter the line you do the more detail you get let's just put it that way but I mean I don't want you to sit through all that I just want to show you quickly okay and also it won't hurt if you can see the mistakes that come up okay because as you can see it's not perfect right so I've done that now it's all looking good now what I'm going to do is just quickly save it, save, go up to select, 
go to save selection and put last okay I've got the first and the last okay right so now I've saved it just in case I lose it okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to I'm going to press on that and then I'm going to go up to this menu up here and I'm going to press copy. Now that's going to copy the selection. Okay, now I'm going to go up to file and press on new and it's just going to come up with the same size thing there and now I'm going to go up to edit and then press paste. Okay, now look at this. See, that was dodgy. Now you can go and tidy that up if you like. Um, look, I just did that really quickly. I mean, that was way too quick. You can do it nicely. Um, obviously, that wouldn't be good enough. You'd have to go back and do it again. But that's not the point of this, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is pull this little thing over so I can have a look at it. Now, this has got the layers in it. So what I want to do is just simply see the background there that's the layer that's the cup that I just put in there and this is the background part here okay now I'm just if you click on that eye there that means that we don't want to see the background there we go right now we just save that to whatever we want so just say we want to save it um, for a web page go up the top here and we'll say save for web Okay. I mean it looks huge doesn't it and now you can really see the bad detail but if you're really fussy you can zoom in and um, fix it all up and rub things out and stuff like that okay but really it doesn't look that bad um, when it's not zoomed in like that um, okay we're going to press save and then choose where to save it and also choose a name coffee cup right save okay it's done now that's saved okay now I'm just going to show you an example of what I mean um, uh, I'll just show you my web page um, see these here these you can put them on any background because they're chopped out okay so I could put them on a white background as well and um, it wouldn't matter it would just show the bird okay same with this this has been chopped out so I can move this book onto a black background and it'll just look like it's meant to be there okay so that's the kind of thing that we're doing um, same with this one here okay yep now um, well I hope that helped um, I know it was really difficult for me to work that out, so um, hopefully you'll get to see this video before you have all those headaches of trying to do it. Okay, thanks for watching.